So I did want to get Nicola as well because uh, she said Scotland's leading the world uh, on uh, the battle to beat climate change. What's amazing? And now it's in last yeah. place. What? Her ambitions, her it's boasting, gone. her virtue thing has been destroyed. The Labour Party have had to do the same with their Green New Deal and the billions of money, pounds they were going to spend on that. They've all gone, do you know what? Net zero, completely unaffordable. We're impoverished and bankrupt. Our country, our economy and everyone who lives in it is a ridiculous, terrible neo-religion. It can't work and they're all having to get rid of it. Yeah, exa ah. exactly right. Uh, Hamza Youssef and N Nicola Sturgeon had promised uh, to cut Scotland's greenhouse gas emissions by 75% mm -hmm. by the end of the decade. They can't do this. Debt zero. Most people don't even understand what it is. Uh, mm -hmm. It is unaffordable and unachievable. If we actually do carry on like this, it's going to cost you, all of you and us, uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of extra pounds on your energy bill. So Madam if that's what I... you want your well, governments to do, good luck with that. Basically have to stop making things, driving places, getting up, basically just become completely inactive. Does that sound like a good idea? Well, probably to a lot of right, people, right. it does, but oh. um, I don't fancy going back 500 years and living in the dark yeah, ages. Yeah, zero. It's not going to happen. For the sake of like, not It's not going to happen because these mad emissions. governments we've got right now They're will mad. be replaced by saner governments who just say this is nonsense. It is utter nonsense. nonsense. Now, meanwhile, uh, another great story. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna, have we got uh, Martine? OK, let's have a look at Martine Croxall. She's a BBC right. newsreader. Uh, this is... Uh, a web when uh, she uh, got in trouble, she was suspended for this, oh, laughing yeah. about Boris Johnson during a news bulletin. Take it away. Well, this is all very exciting, isn't it? Hello and welcome to our look ahead to what the papers will be bringing us tomorrow. Am I allowed to be this gleeful? Well, I am. Uh, oh, there's BBC impartiality oh, for you. Not but at all biased. Apparently they got rid of Martine Croxall, not because she's that totally was, uh, impartial, is, yeah. but because she's old and female. That's yeah, a, well, that's she's now uh, the story. So that moment there with the Boris Johnson, that was all about his downfall, the party gate and everything. So she uh, was revelling in that and got suspended but quite rightly because that was a disgraceful piece of prejudiced journalism, wasn't it? Uh, but uh, this is separate. She is one of a bunch of uh, female news presenters uh, who didn't quite make the cut because they merged uh, BBC News Channel with the BBC well. News Operation and a number of news presenters became extraneous to requirements. She was one of them. Now, they held, they held on to their jobs but were given much more minor roles. In essence, about seven of them, including Martine Croxall, have been sitting around doing nothing since last March. Yeah, on so, so for far more than a year, 12, 14 months, sitting around doing nothing on their very handsome salaries. Uh, and Martine Croxall has now sued the BBC, her employer since 1991, uh, for uh, age and sex discrimination. Uh, and now this means that there's so many people on the BBC payroll that don't go to work. I know. You know, of course, Hugh Edwards. Maybe I've 40... secretly got an unpaid job at the BBC and I don't realise yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I might ask them where my pay Do we packet work is. For the BBC? I'm yeah, not I haven't sure. come in. I, you know, I worked in the BBC back in 2009. Mm. It was, and uh, maybe I should write to them and say, "Where's my last sort of 16 years worth of pay?" Yeah, because absolutely. I've been, you know, absolutely. well, you've heard of not work... going into work. So look, you've heard of working from home. Well, at the BBC, they have a different system, not working at all, uh, but you still get full pay. Anyway, great, she's she's launched this interesting action. Uh, we'll be back with that later on on Crosstalk mm. as well. Uh, now we're going to go back to our friend. Uh, the uh, Mark Menzies. MP for Fylde in oh, Lancashire, Mark God. Menzies. Uh, there are now uh, serious calls uh, for the police to launch an investigation. The Fuzz have got to look into of this. Of course they have. It was, what happened what? is, he, he, well, just to reiterate, you remember, of course, yesterday, big story, that he, he phoned this... A uh, poor old lady who was one of his campaign managers. Turns out she was the town mayor. She's the town mayor. Her name is Shirley Green. At 3.15 in the morning saying, I need £5,000. That went up to 6500 in the end. Uh, to get me out of this flat, I'm locked in here by bad people. Anyway, she got the money for him. That was... But she got paid back by Tory party funds. Yeah. And then subsequent to that, 
Uh, he took £14,000, Mark Menzies took £14,000 for medical uh, expenses that he needed. That hasn't been paid back either. So this is sounding seriously like uh, there's a case for misappropriation of party funds. Yeah. Now, it's all very well for the Tories to investigate. They say they've been investigating this uh, for three, oh, three yeah, weeks. They have, haven't so they? the big question of the Tories Three is, months, they thought. Uh, it yeah, was three months. In, well, uh, Jan January is when this incident apparently happened. So w if they're investigating it, why have they not called the police yeah. in? Because these are p uh, yeah. alleged criminal offences. But this guy, ten years ago, uh, got stung by the mirror for paying a Brazilian vent boy who uh, also to add an even more spicy story, was here illegally and was supposed to be being deported. He was paying this Brazilian rent boy for access to methadone, which is a, a, an illegal drug uh, used in certain types of... Uh, Chemsex, gathering. basically. Chemsex. Chem Chemsex, yeah. Chemsex. Um, so, you know, this guy has clearly been on the wrong side of the law a lot. Or alleged. He likes allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. He seems to like a good scrape, does he? Allegedly, we and must... The next thing... We have to stress it. He, said, he says he's done nothing wrong. He do you denies know what I reckon's going to happen to Mark Menzies? I reckon he's going to do a Hugh Edwards. I think he's going to claim mental health problems. Oh, uh, well, maybe yeah. we don't know. We don't know. I mean, he, 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 he denies all <laughs> wrongdoing, so that case continues.